guys, uh, Jacinta here um, with another book review today. Um, the book that I'm going to be reviewing is called The Curve in the Road um, and it's by Greg McLaughlin. Um, this book is available on Amazon um, and I'm going to leave the link in the description below so if you want to read it you can buy it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into the review now. Um, basically The Curve in the Road is about um, this uh, guy called Cooper and he um, he has like a photographic kind of memory and he can remember every experience um, that has ever that he's ever um, that he's ever had um, in such intricate detail that it almost haunts him because like obviously he can remember the good and the bad um, and the story really revolves around how um, one of his really really bad and scarring memories um, from the past um, is having an impact on his present day relationship with his wife Liana um, and it's a really, it's a really, really clever book. I really like the way that we can see that Cooper um, is so rooted in the past that it's holding him back from his present. Um, and we really, the story really is um, showing his struggles of trying to let go of the past for the sake of his present and future. Um, um, the real theme of the of, of the book is that um, it's how the past could um, the past could have shaped the present differently with one decision, um, which I think is a really really interesting theme to explore. Um, I always love books that uh, explore the past. Um, because there's so many elements to it, I suppose, there's so many ways you can go about it, but I really loved it. Um, so basically, Cooper had this um, childhood friend, Mary, who um, I think he fell in love with her, really, but um, tragically, she uh, got knocked down by a she got knocked down by a car one night, um, and she. Um, was comatose. From what I can remember of this book, she um, was in a coma, and uh, Cooper um, was devastated by this. Um, and I think he thought he was gonna he was gonna be with her, but um, later on he meets he meets Liana, um, and he ends up with her. And the book basically is about the conflict between him and her him and Liana, where Liana wants to. Um, start a family she wants to have children with Cooper but as I said before Cooper is so firmly rooted in the past that it affects his um I suppose it affects his outlook on the present and he um doesn't want that initially because he um he's so caught up in what happened in the past and what happened to Mary and he's so devastated over what happened to Mary that he can't let go really and it's it's um sad it puts pressure it puts um pressure on their relationship really and it has Liana really reconsidering her life as well and reconsidering um reconsidering her marriage to Cooper and why she's with him really and um yeah the book, um, the conflict of the book is really if Cooper is going to um, stop living in the past on time, in time for him to um, make things work with Liana. And it's a really, really, really nice, um, nice story. I really enjoyed it. The description in this book is so, so captivating. It's so... Um, so beautiful, so rhythmic and so lyrical. Um, 
my eyes were glued to the to to it. I, I just couldn't stop reading it when I read it. Um, yeah, and it's it's just such a good story. It's a really compelling narrative of past and present um intertwining with each other and it's just so cleverly written and um yeah it is written by Greg McLaughlin who um has written a number of other books that I've read and really really loved um and I really think um you should give this book a try uh you should um buy a copy of it on, on Amazon um because Greg is a fantastic, fantastic author and um, it's really, really worth uh, trying and I don't think you, I think you will be glad that you bought it if you do. Um, so yeah, on that, uh, that is basically my book review on The Curve in the Road. Um, if you're interested in reading that book, could you do click the link in the description below and buy it on Amazon. Um, and if you do end up reading it after all, uh, tell me, let me know what you think of it. Um, I'd be really happy to hear your thoughts on it, and I'm sure Greg would as well. Um, so be sure to leave him a review on Amazon if you do, too. Um, I also, um, Greg's most recent um, novel, um, I will be posting a review of that too and uh, you can check it out here. It's called Broken English. Um, yeah, check out that review too. Uh, so until later on, I will see you um, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, bye guys.